first off, I know this review is extremely late, but I wasn't able to see this movie the same week it came out because I went to go see Mile 22 instead, thinking that I would enjoy it more than this one. And looking back, that was obviously a mistake, but I still wanted to go see this. I just couldn't find the time to see two movies in one week because I'm a newborn, obviously. But I finally got around to seeing it again. And I, again, I wanted to really see this movie because of all the hype it was getting and obviously because of its cultural importance. This is the first movie in a very long time where the entire cast is made up of Asian actors. And I want to see more movies like this. I want to see big studios come up with more movies like this, not necessarily have the entire cast be made of Asian actors, but I want to see Asian American actors be cast in quote unquote normal roles and not have it necessarily be attached to like a martial arts movie or have them be the token like nerd of the group. But this movie is not perfect. It's not the, an amazing film, but it is very enjoyable. I enjoyed watching this movie and because the things that it does well, it, they do it really well. For me, this movie's biggest strength is Constance Wu. She was fantastic in this role and I was really looking forward to seeing her in this movie because she plays my favorite character in Fresh Off the Boat and that character is completely different from what she presents in this movie and she, her, the char conflict that her character goes through of being an Asian American that grows up in the United States as opposed to an Asian American that grew up in their native country and immigrated to the United States. That's a, a conflict that I really related to because being a Filipino American, um, being the son of a, a mother and father that came, came to this country at a very young age, I found that very relatable because there's a quote at the beginning, near the beginning of this movie, where Wu's character, her mother, says this quote to her. It's like, yes, on the outside you're Asian, but like in your head and your heart, you're an American, and that's something that I completely relate to because again, I again I I'm Filipino, 100% Filipino, but I think like an American. I, I I really don't relate to the mindset of somebody that immigrates to this country that might have come from the Philippines and I have I just don't think like them I think like an American Michelle Yeoh gives an equally great performance as well every scene that she's in she just lights up the screen and I thought she was perfect for this role because the role of the boyfriend's mother really demands sort of like a quiet strength and I thought that she completely embodies that role and she did a great job with it and the conflict that she has with Wu's character was one of the most compelling um, conflicts I found in this movie and yet it is a little cliche but I thought the way that they end up resolving this conflict at the end of the film was really fresh and new and I really appreciated that about the film and Aquafina is really good as the comic relief in this film she every scene that she's in she kind of steals with her comedic timing and she was just really good in this and I thought she did a much better job in this movie than she did in Ocean's Nine I thought she was a little less restricted in this movie and there's just one joke that I just can't stop laughing about it's a joke about uh, describing Wu's character as being a banana you know yellow on the outside one in the end I just I thought that was hilarious because again I think that's how I'm seen I'm again I'm, I'm Filipino through and through but I think like an American but again I think that this movie isn't perfect. It just feels like the same type of romantic comedy that we've seen over and over again. Like it's the same meal. It's just plated differently. And at times this film does have trouble focusing on the conflicts that matter and ones that affect the narrative the most. I wanted to see more of the conflict between Wu's character and the mother of the boyfriend. And I feel that impacted the story the most. And it just f spent too much time on focus on other elements of the story that really didn't matter to me. And I wanted to see more of one thing rather than the other. And there's this subplot with the, one of the boyfriend's cousins that didn't really seem to affect the main narrative at all. I felt like if you would have taken this subplot out, it, the movie wouldn't be any different. And I do understand that they're trying to show a different side of like the argument. But again, it didn't feel like it would make the movie any different had they just left this plot point out. And despite those small flaws, I do think this is a very good movie. I just don't think it's as amazing as everyone's making it out to be. I mean, this might be an unpopular opinion, but I feel sometimes people allow the cultural importance of a film to sort of blind them from its shortcomings. I kind of saw this with uh, Black Panther as well. I mean, that movie and this movie are by far aren't terrible movies, but I just don't think they're as great as everybody thinks thinks they are and I, I'd rather be honest and give my honest opinion on a film than rather try to pander to the masses and be part of like the the group that wants to blow up this film just because I share something with this film being Asian American I should love this movie but I again I think it's very good but I just don't think it's 
quite amazing. That might have to do with that I'm late to seeing this movie and the hype just kind of got blown out of proportions and it just didn't meet my expectations. But at the end of the day, there's a perfectly enjoyable film that would make a really good date night movie, even though it is sort of the same kind of romantic comedy story that we've seen over and over again. It does struggle sometimes to focus on the most compelling plot points, but thankfully there are elements that allow it to stand out amongst the crowd, and Constance Wu is the best part about this movie. She makes this film for me, so I'm giving Crazy Rich Asians three and a half out of five stars. So by now you've probably seen Crazy Rich Asians. So let me know what you thought of it in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this review, be sure to like and share it and stay up to date on all the videos that go up on this channel. Give the subscribe button a click. Thanks as always for watching and I'll see you in the next review.